Here are the best settings for Radiant Software for gaming. So first of all, make sure that you activate FSR4 if it's available. If you don't have any FSR in your game or frame generation, I recommend to use the AMD Fluid Motion. Uh, just enable it. You will have multiply by two on your FPS. It's pretty crazy if you're playing solo game. I like to use Radiant Chill and lock my FPS at 167. So minus three versus my refresh rate. So my refresh rate is 170 Hertz to stay in my free sync range. Also, my normally my GPU utilization will be at like 90% depending on the game. So you don't want your GPU at 100% uh, because you will reduce your input lag if you're lower than 100%. Go you, to your tab settings display make sure that you activate free sync depending on your monitor and also make sure that it's activated on your monitor so my last recommendation click on the performance and go to the tuning tab i have a dedicated guide on my youtube channel so in the gpu tuning enable it just under volt your card you will need to test it out each card are different in my case minus 75 was pretty good in the vram tuning enable it make sure that the memory timing is at fast timing and the last one is your power tuning. Enable this one and make sure that your power limit is maximum over there. So now with the uh, Radian algorithm, you will send less uh, voltage. So you will have better thermal. So you will see that your boost clock will be better because also you're sending more power limit. So 10% more. And uh, on my case, on 3D Mark, I got like 12% boost uh, on uh, the score. And in video game, it depends on the game, but normally I'm getting 8 to 12% boost in my FPS. If you have any question on this guy, just comment on the short.